Welcome in my home studio. Uh, today, a few words about the preamp, about the Pro MPA2 preamp by ART company. Uh, so, I have uh, that preamp long, long time, maybe seven, eight years. And what I would like to say, guys, any issues with that guy? Just uh, you switch the power switch and you got it ready to go always always nothing happened with that unit mm, i'll use it many years and on the beginning i switched the tubes because you know that they put uh, cheap chinese tubes and i switched to the russian tubes and works well i'm ready that's anyway that is my favorite uh, preamp like you see right here is a prisonus my mic is at the prisonus right now one two check check some compression some eq and uh, if i record guitar i go to this one and even one channel sm57 or two mics sm57 and sennheiser 906 and i i love it i love it why because you know in the prisonus if you start playing with those knobs eq you know after after uh, 30 40 minutes you think okay it's fine you fine you make bypass and you hear oh my gosh it don't sounds like a guitar rather like a like a keyboard you know and this one is very fine uh, very very easy to use for me you know because it's just a plain signal and you don't have a chance to play with with those knobs like in the prisonus channel and uh, one thing so you know i believe uh, many of you use the preamps right so uh, short few words uh, here is an input gain impedance for uh, for mics right to to make a match in the output level same thing on the second channel right here we have a low cut let me show you how it works maybe i think <laughs> Oh yeah, you hear that. So, at that moment is uh, cut it from uh, 0 to 200 on the low frequencies. And I put it on, no cuts on this one. Oh yeah. That was 200. And uh, gain impedance, let's check impedance. So, you know, usually... You know, if I'm listening careful, it's, it sounds a little bit like a more high few dB on the on the uh, on, in the sound. <laughs> Yeah, more lows on this moment, and listen, listen, listen now. So that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's put it some and the output gain. So uh, right now I have a um, double um, dual two two channels mono. And uh, I would like to talk about that thing. Uh -huh, so right here is a um, gain pl plus 20. I don't want to push it because, you know, going to be... Oh, maybe let's try. Oh, 
yeah so in this case i can go put the gain here and uh, make it just a little bit output level on the second and i can go right now with the full tube satur saturation so this unnatural round it sounds not so good just a little bit gain here no gain here so first switch 48 phantom power is the next one the same thing is on the other side on the second channel and the plate voltage uh, so if i go if i put in i need to wait a few seconds like a 20 maybe 15 seconds to um, to give them time to start working is some kind of uh, additional power to the tubes let me open a little bit and without oh yeah so it sounds a little bit louder a few dB and the last thing is a face let's check it oh yeah you hear that I believe YouTube don't gonna uh, change the audio I think um, it supports exactly how I hear and let me switch the face on the other channel Here's this one affects more. Oh, be. You hear that, right? Of course, if I switch on the two, gonna be nothing. Gonna be the same like. Like, no. all right and here's everything the same low cuts again what i would like to talk about in stereo because you know i believe many of you use the preamps but maybe let's let's try right now i have an input stereo from a digitech box and i put the channel so let's check it and now very important thing don't forget if you put uh, matrix stereo that knob it works like a balance i hope maybe you see that here is the balance as well and this one comes to be master and here gain and gain for each channel so let's check it Right now is mono matrix and let me switch to stereo. Mono. I have to move the balance right now. Maybe let's keep it like that. Yeah, so like you hear, when when is the mm, dual mode to single mono channels sounds come directly from the center. If I push stereo. I have to play a little bit with the balance to make it sound even on both sides, but mm, for sure the sounds come from the side. Balance. Uh, so how it works. And the last thing I would like to show you this one. So I go here, the double channels and mid and side micing. If 
I activated that uh, switch, that button, this knob stay the same, like a balance, and gain, this gain, which was just a gain, sim simply gain on the channel, comes side gain, turn to the side gain, and an other channel, uh, I have a mid gain. So, let me first, for example, put the mid down, so I expect sound gonna be push the uh, heart on the side. If you listen um, right now in a headphones, you will hear that sounds actually comes from behind your head somewhere. And uh, let me put them some gain on the mid, on the middle of sound. So right now is just the sides. Let's check just a mid. Of course, you always have to play with the with the balance with this knob, which is right now balance between mid and side. So at that moment is no sides. It's just the middle, and let me add sa side into the sound. Sorry, guys, I just have one hand to, to play. Uh. Just the middle. I have to play with the balance here, like you see, and I add side. And the double channels. Okay, so that kind of things you know here. And stereo. Oh, here is my mic. Uh, all right, guys. So I hope maybe somebody, someone of you, gonna find that video helpful. You know, I don't pay attention about the regular things like again impedance, right, uh, and outputs, because a lot of preamps. Mm, because I believe uh, many of you use the preamps with the, those knobs, which are just uh, would like to uh, test mid side and stereo. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. The back was here, and I gonna be appreciated if somebody gonna find find that video helpful. Thank you for your time, guys. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.